Hello everyone, welcome to this week's stop on the road. I'm in Bristol, Tennessee, and I am excited to say the least because I'm going to be talking to someone about trains, and that someone is this young man. This is Ben Hauser. Ben, welcome to On the Road. Thank you. Now, I've got to get right into it and find out just how old you are. Mm -hmm. I'm 14. 14 years old, and you're going to see some awesome trains as we continue the show. And first of all, how did you get interested in trains? Um, you know, when I was younger, I was in the Thomas the Trains, and then my dad showed me a little of his stuff, and it went on from there. Right. Okay. Now, Dad being Dennis Hauser, and by the way, we're <coughs> at uh, Village Discount Drapery, and this is where the trains are, and it's upstairs in, I guess, a former showroom, mm -hmm. but uh, it's turned into a train room, and I wonder how you accomplished that. It's like, hey, hey, Dad, Mom, I want to put up trains, get mm -hmm. the showroom out. Yeah. Um, it's it's grown a lot, like a lot of tearing down and rebuilding again. Yeah. So this is the real format of what it used to be. All right. But now, as you, as you continue with your trains, mm -hmm. obviously it's your own imagination, and you're mm -hmm. limited to your own imagination. You've got stuff that James is going to show us in just a little while. Mm -hmm. You get stuff on your mind. How long does it take you to put it on the track, on the, um, on the platform anyway? Uh, if you're really into it, it'll take about a week. About a week. But some ideas can turn into a, a disaster and you just, you just <laughs> got to get rid of it. It's, All right. It's over. All right. Now you're into the HO scale. Yes, All HO. Right. Okay. Where are you going? Walk back over here towards <laughs> me. <laughs> okay. There you go. James is like, get yeah. him back over here. Uh, no, you're fine. Just aggravating you a little yeah, bit. But right. you're, you're like some people that, mm -hmm. you know, that it's that thing about it, but you're fine. Uh, and, and now when we get into seeing some of your trains, mm -hmm. You put some stuff together, and it's very interesting, one of them for sure, and that is the figure eight. Yes. And I want James to zoom in on that in just mm -hmm. a moment, because mm -hmm. you've got them where the engine crosses the crossover, and mm -hmm. the, the trailing car Barely misses, misses about a, yeah. what, half, to about, a, half an inch? Yeah, an inch. very close. That's, that's very interesting. We'll see that in a moment. Mm -hmm. But um, now, you go to school. At Vance Middle. At Vance Middle. And I, I'm guessing, are, are you busy, obviously, with homework, classes, and so forth? Uh, are you into any other extracurricular activities? Uh, I'm in Boy Scouts. but Oh, good for mm -hmm. you. Great. That's uh, what rank are you now? I'm a se second class. Second class? Mm -hmm. Great. Very now, are you into the, uh, the, the, well, every year downtown where they have mm -hmm. the campfires? Mm -hmm. I forget what you call it. but um, Yeah. Anyway, all the scouts show up. You burn mm -hmm. wood all night for a mm -hmm. week or whatever. In the winter, too. Yeah. It's sort of cold, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It's very cold. And then we do the Klondike. Yeah, the Klondike. That's that, it. That's yeah. very. Okay. Well, now, in addition to that, do you have anything else? Like you're in any sports? Mm, no. Just, just trains. Just trains yeah. and boys. Right. Yeah, okay. that's about it. All right. Okay. Well, I want to move over to another section mm -hmm. and let James zoom in on some of the trains, and we'll talk more about that. Right. Okay? All right. Mm -hmm. Ben, I mentioned that you're limited to your own imagination. Mm -hmm. You've got quite an imagination yes. for your platform, as we're seeing now. Tell us about the mountain. Uh, the mountain is one of Dad's ideas. I mean, it was part of his junk, and <laughs> might, as, might as well throw it into a mountain. So we made it into a mountain out of a drawer. So it was, it was very. Now, uh, as you were showing me when I was down here the other day, setting it up to come and, and tape the show, mm -hmm. this drawer actually serves as uh, as a storage drawer yes. for some of your parts, some of Trains, your tools, yeah. or whatever. And, but in the main thing that you see is the mountain. Yes. Now you're very creative, like I said. Up here on the top, we see trees, mm -hmm. and they came from uh, Christmas trees. Christmas trees. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. All right. Now, what do you, for the most part, make the mountain out of? Is this is this like uh, plaster Paris? Do you take paper bags, newspaper, or whatever? Uh, it's fabric, like the material we use, uh -huh. and then we'll use like drywall to oh. we'll cover oh, the yeah. fabric with it. Yeah. And then you'll it would build the frame first, and uh -huh. then you'd cover it up with it. Right. It's very creative, very much so. All right. Now James is going to swing around and show the trains, and while mm -hmm. he's showing the trains, let's talk about them. All right. And one in particular that I think he's zooming in on right now would be the figure eight. Mm -hmm. Now this is your. Your idea, you put this together, yes. but here's the thing. Watch how close the engine and the caboose come to hitting each other at the crossover, right there. It's pretty close. <laughs> That's a, I would guess, coupler to coupler, half an yeah, inch. Yeah, coupler to coupler. Yeah. All right. Um. At Village Discount Drapery, you'll find what we're famous for, Carolina Country Ruffles, made in the USA. Are you looking for a bedspread? Try a Bates of Maine, 100% cotton, made in America spread. Finally, if you can't find what you're looking for ready-made, try our fabric that's in stock, 
over 30,000 yards at $4.99 a yard. Village Discount Drapery, 215 Raytheon Road, Bristol, Tennessee. Ben, I almost forgot, you also do some, some small race cars yeah, on, yeah. on your platform, at least in this area, mo mostly trains, but uh, talk about this. And that, was this an early project before the trains or just part of it afterwards? Uh, this was in the middle of the project, what we were going for, like BMS, Bristol Motor Speedways, but we have Benjamin Motor Speedway. <laughs> there so. you go, BMS on it there. And, uh, but now, I think James, my cameraman, said that he had to sit like that when he was a youngster about mm -hmm. 40 years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they're that old, huh? Yeah, they're that old. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, you're incorporating a lot of, of, of motor vehicles anyway in, mm -hmm. into your platform. But uh, this is the area that I wanted us to meet or to get over to. And so James can show it a little bit better. Obviously, he's showing the train going through there. Uh, I like this going through a short tunnel. Mm -hmm. And then there's a longer tunnel. Yeah. And that short tunnel reminds me of the shortest tunnel in the world. It's, from what I understand, it's like eight feet long. And it's over in Scott County, Virginia. I uh, hmm. think it's uh, near Duffield. Uh -huh. uh, anyway, it's the shortest tunnel that was ever made, uh, if I'm correct on it. And it, let's go to the trains now. And we, we touched earlier about all of the, yeah, good catch, Dad. We were going to have a wreck. <laughs> and we'll get to why, what I was talking about in just a second, because uh, that's very neat, too. Yeah. Uh, the churches, the village, that's what I wanted to show off, because uh, over here, um, and, and James, I know I'm throwing you curves, on, on the left side over here, we've got, let's just walk a little bit closer to it. We've got the town, and it looks like we've got a bank. Uh, back here is the fire department, yeah. uh, post office, you've got a bus, you've got 18 wheelers. Yeah. The, whole, the whole nine yards of a town, and mm -hmm. that is very good, uh, very creative. And I'll throw you another curve, James. Right behind all of that is a mountain. And right down the side of it, you've got a waterfall. Yes, I do. You've got water yeah. coming down the rocks. Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, this is just amazing. Now, we're talking about all of this happening. We're talking about them running. Mm -hmm. Now, there's got to be a control. How do you control all of this? Oh, uh, the main controls are up in the front. I mean, it, the controls have been a lot of different places, like where the mountain used to be. It used uh -huh. to be over on this mountain, but just ch switch them up and. Now, do you do you have like is is it a, is it digital or, or this this day and age in electronics high yeah. def? How does yeah. it work? What are your controllers? Um, the we have a DC <coughs> DCC yeah. controller. It's different between DC because that's only uh, it's DC. So, but you got DCC where you can operate two trains at oh. two different speeds. Well, my goodness! Um, if I'm not mistaken, well, I, know, I know I'm not mistaken because when I was over here the other day setting up the taping, mm -hmm. you had two run, uh, trains running behind each other, yes. which was uh, unheard of before because one was either going to be too slow or the other one too fast yeah. or whatever, but you had it set with your, I guess, um, my DC the, controller, the DCC controller, where it came up and was just, you know, just a few inches apart, yeah. but still running mm -hmm. together. Yeah. Now, that's very neat. Um, when you get, uh, and I'd ask you before, when you get an idea, the, the, this is like sometimes, I'm guessing sometimes it just comes to you. Sometimes maybe you're out riding around and you see something out in yeah. the country or wherever you might be. Yeah. You say, I'm going to home and I'm going to build that. Mm -hmm. You get a lot of ideas that way. We're on the road at Village Discount Drapery in Bristol, Tennessee. My guest is Ben Hauser. And we're looking at Ben's trains, trains, and more trains. And uh, the reason I'm here, of course, as you know, I like trains. Uh, my, my viewers know that. Mm -hmm. My family knows that. I drop a lot of hints at Christmas, uh -huh. <laughs> birthdays. Anytime I do a gift, I drop yeah. hints about trains. And uh, I noticed uh, I might get James to take a shot of it and edit it in. Uh, but the thing that I'm into now, mm -hmm. the G scale. Yes. And, of course, G meaning garden. Yeah. And it started, I think it was created or started over... In, in Germany or somewhere of the idea of running trains outside in the garden, which came the G scale. Mm -hmm. And those are the bigger ones and more realistic. Now these are realistic in their own yeah. right. Uh, the G scale to me is more realistic. And what I'm trying to say is I don't have the nerves to work with the little ones uh -huh. anymore. <laughs> it, it can be frustrating work with the smaller gauges like N scale. Yes. Uh, I, don't, I can't work with N scale. That's, yeah, th those that's, are the, about the size of your finger, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> And I was, I'm not mistaken, I, when I was over here, I think Dennis told me, your dad told me, 
that there's even one smaller than the, the N scale, the Z scale. Z scale. And mm -hmm. which is even smaller. I mean, who in the world, well, somebody does because yeah. they're making them. I guess yeah. who in the world would work with that? But, but uh, and I know that um, the, the creations that come from all of this, and at one point you had a, a house when I was over here that actually uh, some smoke came yes. out. Yes. But that's a timing thing, I think. And it, and, uh, yeah, sometimes it'll work, sometimes. So, yeah. and, and it's sort of like maybe we're in summer and you don't need yeah, it. That's why it, we don't see it's it. too hot. Right there. Yeah, there you go. And then you, uh, also you have whistles. Uh, mm -hmm. Some of the engines will, will run the whistles. Yes. And uh, now over on the far end, uh, James, if you'll shoot over on the mountain, we'll see one little guy by himself running over through there. Is this something that this is sort of like a test you're going to add to it eventually, or is this pretty much it, and that's, that's all you're going to see? Um, now? now, that's a smaller guy there. Yeah. It's, it's still H.O., though, isn't yeah, it? H -O. Yeah, H.O. Yeah. Um, it could, um, it's just an experiment for right now. Like, it, I could go all out yeah. into it. Like, sure. Yeah. Imagination comes yeah, in. Ma yeah. Yeah. And I like on this end where the engine's going in right now in, into, the, into the mountain. Yeah. It looks like big, huge rocks there. Yeah, where rock it could cut it out. Yeah, that's very good. Like I said, you're very creative. And uh, now, is this something that you're going to keep on doing? Like, like right now, probably in your mind is, I'm going to do this forever. Um, you're going to grow up yeah. someday. And is this going to be left to dad to play with when he gets like 90? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. About 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I like to be an engineer, a train engineer. Yeah. Oh, yes, that's right. You, just, you told me that. Yeah. Um, so going off to college, uh, you probably won't be able to play with it much. Yeah, but. well, that's true. Well, here's something that you probably would need to do if, if Dad's not going to work with it. Mm -hmm. at, uh, at least just cover it up real well, yeah. get the dust off of it, and, and preserve it so that when you do get back to it, yeah. it'll be here and ready. Mm -hmm. um, now, aspirations. I'm glad you said going to college. I'm yes. always glad to hear young people talk about going to college because it's very, very important to, to get that education. Yeah. Um, as far as engineer, uh, mm -hmm. any particular railroad in mind or just wherever it happens to be, he, get hired once you get ready? Um, I, I would like to work for Northwick Southern because uh -huh. that's, that's it here in Bristol. Obviously it's home, yeah. right. And oh, I, the trains are just awesome. I mean, they got heritage units now where that just blows you away. Yeah, so. oh yeah, yes sir. I think you're here, mm -hmm. whistle. Yeah. Obviously we could talk about trains all day, I could anyway. <laughs> yeah. But I, I know that um, I was excited several years ago when uh, one of the historical railroad historical associations were bringing the um, the trains on the excursions mm -hmm. from uh, Roanoke. I think it went from Roanoke to Knoxville, and they brought the huge J611. Yes. And people who know trains know what I'm talking about, and that was a monster. That yes, uh, that was a monster. I, I think just half of the cab of the of the, of the engine would fit in his room, but uh, and again to me a train is a train when it's pulled by a yes. steam engine. But as things go, by the way, the dinosaur, yeah. that's progress as they call it. And so you got diesels, but they, they, they do okay in their yeah. own right. Um, but I was really impressed with that J611, a huge mm -hmm. steamer mm -hmm. and uh, big monster. Um, I know that through the years, uh, back in, in, in the old days, back in the day, as they say, uh, in the 20s, 30s, and 40s, were in a lot of coal over in the coal fields. They used to bring in double headers, yeah. which would be two steam engines mm -hmm. pulling long lines of coal trains. And then it was one, I don't know if it was ever in this area or worked in this area, but it was one that was called the Big Bertha, I think. And it was one huge monster. It was like mm -hmm. 16 drivers on it. Wow. It was like a 4-16-4. And that was the, the biggest steam engine ever made, I think, in its time. The sad part about all of the, the steam engines now is most of them were cut up yeah, scrap, scrap yeah, that's and then melted down for steel beams, I guess. But thank goodness there's still a few mm -hmm. old steam engines yeah. around. Okay, where, uh, where, where are you going to go next with this? Uh, stick, stick with trains? Or are you going to try to incorporate a little bit more modern uh, automotive? Uh, when I say modern, obviously trains are modern. Yeah. But like racetracks, <laughs> you're going to do more mm -hmm. tracks. Uh, um, I'll probably stick with trains. Like you see, I'm, I'm running out of room to build more, so yeah. I have to go in the next room, I guess. There you go. Um, oh, and there was one thing, James, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, to, to your right, right below the, the control board, there's a turntable, and there's a steam engine in front of it. And the reason I mentioned that is I grew up over in the coal fields, over mm -hmm. in Norton. Yeah. 
and over there it was the end of the line for the trains and we had the interstate the NNW uh, back then it was um, southern uh, well it's Norfolk Southern now Norfolk and Western NNW mm -hmm. okay yeah um, and the L&N &N. and they would come to Norton and that would be the end of the line even the passenger trains and so these big, huge steam engines pulling them in there, they would go down on the end of the line and get on a turntable, yeah. turn around so they could go and connect and go back out. I sat for hours up on a hill just watching uh, the turntable with those engines on it. It wow. was just amazing. <coughs> that was amazing. Yeah. And so I think, you, I mean, you've got all of it that you could want as far as trying to show trains. You've got the turntable. You, you've got the, the switches. I was always impressed with switches. I've been doing a lot of talking. You gonna say anything? Uh, yeah. I mean, what you said, a lot of switches. I like stuff that moves. I, I, I mean, much into designing, but I like stuff that if it moves, I'm, I'm fine with it. There, so. there, there you go. Sure. And I noticed, uh, which I had, and and everybody should have on those sets are the re-railers. Yes. Those are very important. But, yeah, it's like. And, and I noticed you've got some some working units where I think is yours dumping barrels. Uh, you got one that dumps barrels. It, uh, yeah, it can. It can. But, yeah, and so everything's in place. And uh, James, I'm throwing you another curve. I just happened to see it. Over on the far end, there is a white mountain light, and up on the top of it, we've got snow-covered trees. I just saw that. And there's a train coming out of the mountain, out of the tunnel there. Now I just saw that one. That is that is very neat. As a matter of fact, isn't that the Dale Earnhardt train? It yeah, is. it's, it's the Dale Earnhardt train. train. Right. It's Steam engine anyway. I mean the diesel yeah. engine. And and he's, I, yeah. That, that mountain, and then just right below it, you see the farm. The yes. Cattle out there, and I guess it was a sheep. Sheep, cows. Yeah. There's you name a barn, it. Yeah. yeah, and the big farmhouse. And uh, I, 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 don't know, I, I doubt James can see it because it's behind the, the farmhouse, the tractor. But this is very creative, is, is what I'm trying to point out. Mm -hmm. And I even just now noticed, too, you got a passenger train over there, yeah. right below the big Amtrak. White mountain. Yeah. yeah, Amtrak. And so you've got it all. You yeah. got it all together, very much so. At Village Discount Drapery, you'll find what we're famous for, Carolina Country Ruffles, made in the USA. Are you looking for a bedspread? Try a Bates of Maine, 100% cotton, made in America spread. Finally, if you can't find what you're looking for ready-made, try our fabric that's in stock, over 30,000 yards at $4.99 a yard. Village Discount Drapery, 215 Raytheon Road, Bristol, Tennessee. Austin on the interception, drives, lays it up in the air. I said Little Red Riding Hood. I'll be careful. Well, when Little Red... All this open innovation is the bulk of the work that I was doing in the Crawl behind It also has a different type of artery. Famous Carter Fold in Hilton's Virginia, and we welcome you to this mountain adventure. It's always good to have a cameraman directing yeah. the show for you because he pointed out that we needed to come over here yeah. where we are mm -hmm. so he can do a wide angle and show everything you've got, which is awesome. 
And as we were talking earlier, uh, there's a possibility of a wreck sometimes. <laughs> yeah. And it depends on who's running the controls. Yeah. Is that it? <laughs> yeah, it might depend. <laughs> sometimes the big kids yeah. forget what they're doing. Yeah. How <laughs> All right. Um, now, I, I touched on the, uh, on the carnival earlier, and of course James is showing wide angle, and, and we're just mm -hmm. sort of going to do a, a recap of everything that we talked about, but I wanted the, the folks to see all the, by the way, how long has it taken to get to this point with your, with your layout? I mean, how many, about five, six years? Yeah, about yeah, five four years. Four or five years, okay. And, and this is just adding gradually, maybe once a week, once a month? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Do you ever go out with the intention of looking for things to bring back and put on your platform, like rocks or uh, tree limbs yeah. or stuff like that? Yeah, like we, we, I hiked the Appalachian Trail yeah. one time, and I picked up this rock and said this would be cool for my layout. Yeah. So I, I, I threw it on and put it over there with my um, trains. Now, you've got trains going in every direction. Yes. You've got trains going in tunnels. You've got trains coming out of tunnels. Now, I, I know there is so much to see here, yeah. and, and there are things that, that I can see that, that we can't really comfortably zoom in on, but I noticed over in the corner there's the old train track signal. Yes. And when I grew up over in the Cofields, we didn't have the gates. Oh, we had the blinking yeah. lights uh, for the signal when the train was coming. But when I moved over to the Bristol areas, when I, started, you know, I saw the gates. But it, it depends on where you are, and, and the excitement builds now, yeah. uh, speaking of the excursions that I touched on earlier, have you ever been on an excursion? Uh, yeah, uh, it was about last year. We, we, we the six eleven, the six thirty was supposed to pull us. Okay. But it didn't, so it broke down in Roanoke, uh -huh. I think it was. Right. So we had a heritage unit pull us. Okay. So that's the same thing, kind of. Yeah. But uh, I know that uh, a lot of the the, the railroad uh, associations. Uh, yeah. They try to put excursions together. Uh, some of them will do it with, with diesels, uh, mm -hmm. some with steam engines. But I noticed the one that came through not too long ago through Bristol area, they, they had, uh, had a, a steam engine pulling it, but they had to have a diesel to help push. Yeah. It was on the back end, I think, maybe mm -hmm. up front. But, but whatever gets the job done. Uh, where were you able to find the Dale Earnhardt diesel? I mean, uh, my uncle got, bought a yard sale. Uh -huh. So I don't know where he bought it, but he, he brought it to me. I'm like, hey, I can use it. So Yeah. So I'm guessing that those are good, good suppliers, yard yeah. sales, <laughs> eBay. Yeah. Uh, and, and then sometimes uh, people will have trains that I guess they were kids and they just didn't want them yeah, anymore. Yeah, they you can find donated out them to me. Yeah. yeah. I'd say you've got and it's just a guesstimate any time. You've probably got miles of wires under the platform. Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 I guess it was fun lying under there, putting all the wires together, yeah, running it, them over yeah. to the controls. And, yeah. Things that always fascinated me yeah. about trains were the switches. Yeah. It's amazing how you, get wheel, you see that wheel go and, and miss this one, but yet it runs over yeah. and connects. And, and then there's one, I'm sure you've got one somewhere. There's a, it's a crossover, it's called a frog which it's, it's an angle that the trains go over when yeah. they're going different trains, different lines or something like that. But there's just so much and um, very impressed. And, and I noticed that you got, we see over near Duffield, and it's right in front of James with, with the camera, there's a big long bridge. Yes. And you remember that one over, that's uh, the center train goes across yeah. it each year. And that's over in, uh, I think it's actually in Spears Ferry. and. Uh, there it goes. That was good timing. James got the, the Dale Earnhardt going across it right as, as uh, he zoomed down on it. Um, how confusing is it with all these trains running, all these switches, uh, it's all of what you get used to, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, you, you get used to it for a while. Like if you change one thing, I'll, it'll take a week for me to yeah. figure out what, <laughs> is that right? Yeah. 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 And again, in case you've just joined us on the road, we're in uh, Bristol, Tennessee at Village Discount Drapery, mm -hmm. and uh, we're at the home of Ben Hauser's Trains. And uh, as you've been with us through the whole show, you I hope you're enjoying it as much as yeah. I am because I, I definitely like trains. And so I, I'm guessing, as I touched on earlier about gift time, do you drop a lot of hints? Um, I don't really have a lot of hints to give because I get them off somebody <laughs> else. So okay. <laughs> 
And a lot of people by now probably know that, that one of the things they could get you would be some trains. Yeah, every Christmas I'll ask for a new train, new train something like that. Right. Yeah. Uh, new, new engine, new village, uh, whatever. So, well, uh, as much as is there, out, there is out there mm -hmm. to add to a platform, people shouldn't have any problems finding you something. And even if you get it something that you've already got, it doesn't hurt to have yeah, more of yeah, it. Yeah, it don't hurt to yeah. have it. Because anytime you go into a town, a village, yeah. whatever, you're going to have dozens of the same somewhere. Yeah. And trains are, they're pretty much a train is a train is a train. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get in trouble for saying <laughs> that, I know. Because <laughs> some people say, oh, I beg your pardon, if it's not a steam engine, yeah. it's not a train. Yeah. But uh, th this is just so amazing. I'm really, really fascinated. And, and you're certainly, certainly uh, to be commended on what you put mm -hmm. together here. With all that you're doing and, and um, getting your education, yeah. like I said, going to <coughs> class uh, in Boy Scouts. And Boy Scouts, I guess, takes a lot of your time, doesn't it? Uh, I mean, every, enough, anyway. Every Tuesday, yeah. then outings you would go to. And it, it's fun. I wish a lot of people would get into it. But. Right, okay. And, and your rank again is? Uh, I'm second, second, second class. All right, well, good for you. Congratulations on that. And I always enjoy the follow up on, mm -hmm. uh, on the Klondikes yeah. every year. Yeah. So. All right, well. I think we're getting close to the end of the show, and uh, before we, we do run out of time, I yeah. want to go over and show this complicated control <laughs> system. Yeah. All right, uh, can we do that now? Yeah. All right, let's go. Okay, as I mentioned, we're at the location yeah, the where controls. you control it all. Yeah. Tell us about this, Ben. Um, well, you got regular analog, what, what most people usually have, but then you have DC where it's you get into computer stuff. Oh uh, yeah. And it can get kind of complicated with all the controls and this can do a lot more than what I'm doing with it. So, uh -huh. yeah. Okay, and I want to hold this up one more time just, just for folks to see. Uh, I want people to see where trains have come to, yeah. where it controls anyway. Yeah. And uh, computer age folks, <laughs> yeah. everything's got to be computerized yeah. now. So. Um, Again, uh, as, as, as we have to wrap this show up, I mean, sometimes I wish I had an hour to do a show yeah. when I got something like this. Yeah. But Ben, I do want to thank you for letting us come by and visit you yeah. and uh, just look over all of these fascinating trains. And um, I'll have to come back sometime when you've added more, just stay in yeah. touch with me and say, hey, I've got almost double or whatever. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, and uh, we'll do it again sometime. Is that a deal? That's, that's a deal. All right. Again, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. We've enjoyed being here with you and your trains. and. Uh, this is uh, Ben Hauser, fine young man, great collection of trains. I thank you for being with me, and I'll be looking for you somewhere on my next stop on the road. <laughs>